So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and coffee is one of my favorite drinks. I have to tell you, I need a few cups of coffee every day and therefore it should not surprise you that I decided to put a little bit of coffee under the microscope. And the first sample that I took was black coffee, no milk and no sugar added. But later on, I'm also going to add a little bit of milk. And then it is possible to see the Brownian motion of the fat droplets in milk. Quite, quite nice to see. But first of all, let's do a little control here. How does regular black coffee look like under the microscope? And I have to tell you, not very exciting uh, because essentially hmm, the coffee was not very concentrated and there's not a lot to see. But maybe if you look carefully, then there's sometimes there are those round structures visible and these are fat droplets. And I think that these are fats and oils that were extracted from the coffee uh, while I made the coffee. And uh, don't forget, after all, coffee beans are a natural product and therefore it should not be surprising that there are also some natural plant oils and plant fats present in the coffee beans. And I think these are the ones uh, that we're able to see here. Of course, uh, I also wanted to drink the coffee. So you have to add a little bit of sugar and of course, a little bit of milk, stir everything well. And then this also, of course, went under the microscope. Um, and simply by looking at this coffee, you can already see it looks a little bit more turbid and cloudy. And that is because um, of the fat droplets uh, of the milk. And under the microscope, this is what you see a lot of dots uh, and in round circles. And these are indeed uh, the fat droplets and the milk has been homogenized. This means that uh, during the manufacturing of the milk, um, the fat droplets were broken down into smaller pieces to prevent them from rejoining and uh, from making larger fat droplets. Because if this happens, then actually you will have cream on top of the milk and then liquid on the bottom. Now I've really zoomed in quite a bit here, way beyond the magnification of uh, the microscope. This is the reason why it looks a little bit blurry. But what you can see quite well now is, is that those fat droplets they're moving around, they're bouncing around. And the smaller fat droplets are moving more than the larger ones. This is called Brownian motion. And this is because the water molecules that surround the fat droplets, they're bumping into the fat droplets randomly and they're causing them to vibrate. This is uh, basically be also because of the thermal activity um, um, that's uh, basically present. And uh, this uh, random motion is also responsible um, for diffusion processes. So when the fat droplets or any substance uh, diffuses uh, across, uh, then this is because the particles are moving in a random way. That's something that you can see here quite well. Of course, I had to also try some instant coffee. This now is Nescafe. And, uh, the advantage here is, is that the coffee is much more concentrated now because it took one of those grains and placed it right next uh, to the cover glass. And there is already a little bit of water beneath the cover glass and the microscope slide. If you look carefully, you can see that the little Nescafe grain uh, absorbed the water quite quickly. And this is how it looks uh, at the end. Um, on the outside, there is the coffee. And uh, you can also see that the coffee slowly started to diffuse uh, into uh, the cover glass. Um, so this is how it looks like. A very concentrated coffee, a few air bubbles. These are the round structures there because after all the Nescafe grain did contain a lot of air. And when I now move the slide and I want to check what is under the cover glass, you look very carefully, then you're able to see those little particles of coffee, those little coffee pieces. And the concentration decreases the further you move away um, from the original source. So right now I'm moving further and further into the center um, of the microscope slide and those little pieces, those particles uh, um, of coffee, they start to also decrease in density. And this is also because of the random motion of those particles, which you can now see here a little bit, and this causes them to diffuse. Uh, well, at that magnification, we do not see the brown color of the coffee anymore, but uh, in the total, there is indeed uh, yeah, a brown color present, but under the microscope, you cannot see it quite well. But those particles there, that's actually the thing uh, that makes uh, yeah, the coffee <laughs> brown. And uh, the further you move uh, away from the original source, the lower the concentration, because uh, this is uh, where the particles, they, when they move, they are spreading to an area of lower concentration. Here again, at a much higher magnification again, and now you can also see the Brownian motion of those coffee particles. Uh, it 
really, I think it's also quite fascinating to see that uh, many physical events that you normally, you just learn about them in school and you just know about them, but now we actually have a visual evidence uh, of what is actually happening here. I think uh, this is uh, quite uh, quite nice to see and quite fascinating. If you repeat the experiment, what you have to be careful is is that the concentration of the milk or the coffee is not too high. Otherwise, it can be a little bit difficult to observe. And uh, right now here, I'm putting the fat droplets and the coffee uh, particles uh, next to each other. Yeah, everything now at the same magnification, everything zoomed in quite a bit. And if you see the streaming motion, well, that is not because of diffusion, but that is because of the capillary action of the liquid being drawn in under the microscope slide or by some of the liquid evaporating. And this causes also a streaming motion. Well, I hope that this video was informative for you. Coffee is interesting. It doesn't only taste good. Good, but it also makes a good uh, microscopic uh, specimen. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.